Welcome to this episode of Open SCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to follow up a previous episode which we did creating this ridge. I showed you how to create this ridge in a prior episode. Basically creating uh, a stanchating a module down here to create the basic shape and then utilizing an offset here to create the difference or this recessed uh, component inside here. Now, one of the things with this that um, you know, I wanted to share in this particular video is the reuse of this code. Because one of the things, if you notice, is it's very close to exactly the same code, especially the body of the code up here. Now, what I did change is the uh, base module, or I could call this the shape module. This gives the object its generalized shape. Um, I could also do some interesting things as I'm just looking at it now to make this more parametric in itself and not really parametric but universal if you will where I could use parameters to shift its shape um, thinking about it and it might be something I do in an upcoming video to make this a little bit universal because I do have to design another set of these sort of a parallel set if you will uh, to mount rails in, in a parallel fashion so I've got you know a T version I've got an angled version and I'm going to do a parallel version so watch for another video coming out uh, however again I just want to briefly share how easy it is to really reuse this code um, because the other thing for my bolt holes, again, if you notice, I really pretty, you know, pretty much reused the whole bolt, bolt hole uh, component here. I just simply moved them. And again, uh, sitting here thinking about it, I, you know, while you can kind of see in here, I'm a little bit specific on my translations. Uh, I could actually do this more so with um, some parametric, more parametric application, if you will, uh, to say, all right, make it a T shape, make it an L shape, and make it a, you know, a par parallel shape. Um, and, and what I might do is actually try to combine all three components into one, you know, uh, piece of code, if you will. Um, so that might be interesting so that might watch for an upcoming video on that but again the real purpose of this video is I just want to demonstrate how the reuse of code uh, the reuse of a code logic inside of an open SCAD program is is really of huge value and this again is what I see is the power of this is to create this object after I created the bracket object was just you know literally a matter of minutes and, and this is where a lot of times you know I get caught up is it faster to redraw draw the whole piece or simply to recode the piece because again you know each you know m modality whether it's like Fusion 360, Tinkercad or OpenSCAD all have their places and one of the big pieces for me is how fast can I do it and also what is the quality I can do it because there's obviously no question in, in Fusion 360 you can get pretty absolute with the part positionings I mean it just as well as you can obviously in open SCAD. Tinkercad it's a little bit more difficult getting uh, you know a precise locations again you can do it it's more tedious uh, but you know one of the pieces again I like with open SCAD is uh, a lot of times quite frankly I can code faster than I can draw and I'm not the best drawer in the world but I am a pretty darn good coder and when I look at this you know I can move pretty quickly now one of the things I want to tackle to here since I'm on the topic of coding I've had a couple people write in and say oh this isn't coding this is blah 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 well you, you're partly right this this is more I would say scripting but I don't want to get into the sort of the nuances of is this coding is this not because really it's the logical application of you know code that is what's creating the power here so whether you're doing it in C++ Python Perl Java I don't really care the the piece is is really kind of the application of the logic of how these various geometric shapes fit together and that's that's really to me what the power of open SCAD is and not so much is it a programming language is it a scripting language I think that's uh, a really a moot debate so anyways Hopefully you found this interesting. I'll have all this code out on the Open SCAD site. So if you want to go borrow it, take a look at it, understand it better, you know, feel free. Um, I also have this part out as an STL on Thingiverse. If you just want to get the part, print it out, use it for a project, it's out there. So I'll tell you what, cheers, and we'll see you in the next video where we code something else. Take care.